everyone. Welcome to the Data Dio Day webinar. Um, we're excited to educate you and talk about the challenge and um, anticipate some questions at the end. Your webinar hosts today are Scott Coleman, the Director of Marketing and Product Management at OWL Cyber Defense, Maria Velasquez, Marketing Communications Manager at OWL, and myself, Aileen Casmano, Product Marketing Manager at OWL. Um, so, Scott, just want to introduce yourself and um, tell everyone what you do here at OWL. Sure. So, uh, I've been with OWL just over four years, um, head up the product management and the marketing teams here. Uh, we're responsible for defining the products, getting products out the door, and um, you know, getting them into the field and, and recognize what the new requirements and how to take them to to market. Maria, hi everyone. My name is Maria. I'm the marketing communications manager here at Owl. Um, I've been with the team since March of last year. Uh, we've since uh, built some amazing marketing programs, one of which is Data Diode Day. So we're super excited about this and can't wait for you to hear more. And lastly, Aileen here again. Um, I joined OWL in October of 2018 and my focus is on um, product marketing. So um, launching marketing campaigns for new products, um, coming up with uh, campaign, social media campaigns, marketing collateral, um, that sort of stuff and data dio day is uh, one of the biggest bigger projects i'm working on so now scott's going to take us uh through just an overview of owl um the company and our product which is data diode, diode hardware right so owl has been around for a long time now almost 20 years um we've always been a cybersecurity company we recently just moved to a much bigger facility here in danbury connecticut uh, we're about you know an hour and a half or so outside of New York City. Uh, we've been focused on data diode technology from day one. It's the only thing we do, um, and you know, we've got a, a number of different products depending on what kind of markets you want to serve, uh, how much capacity you need, your particular requirements in, in terms of transferring data. Um, and you see here that we we protect against a lot of different common um, cybersecurity threats: your malware and ransomware, et cetera. Uh, we split between two major markets, our critical infra infrastructure uh, markets, which include things like power generation, uh, mining, financial services, uh, the, the electric grid, et cetera, um, as well as our government customers um, who are in both the intelligence ag agencies and the Department of Defense. Um, and we've got some really cool products, new products we'll be rolling out later this year that are really going to be looking at cloud services and the Internet of Things. So um, now we're just going to show you a quick video that um, our team actually created, produced, and starred in. <laughs> um, and it's supposed to be a quick, easy to understand um, description of what a data diode is and how it works. Hi, I'm Dennis Lanahan. I'm the sales director here at OWL Cyber Defense. And I'm Scott, director of product management and marketing. What does OWL Cyber Defense do? To put it simply, we create a hardware-enforced cybersecurity product that sits at the network boundary to protect against malware and intrusion and that sort of thing. Oh, so you make firewalls? No, we don't make firewalls. Even though when you buy a firewall, it comes with a box, it's really software controlled. And what you need today is hardware controls. Software leaves you vulnerable to malware, ransomware, zero-day exploits, all the nasty things that Dennis just mentioned. Even though people use firewalls today, they're really past their prime and really need a new technology. Oh, really? Really? That's what we do. That's what the team here has created is a hardware enforced cybersecurity product that we call a data diode. Data what? A data diode. Uh, so, an electrical diode is a piece of circuitry that only allows electricity to flow in one direction. So, a data diode is a piece of hardware that only allows data to flow one way from one network to another. How does that work? Okay, so in a data diode, you have a source network and a destination. And the source network uses an LED to send information through a fiber optic cable to a photoreceiver on the destination side of the network. Okay. Each side also has a custom-built proxy computer that enables bi-directional communication to other networks on that side of the one-way link. Uh... Another way to think of it is a one-way valve for data. Say I'm at the plant and I need to send data back HQ. And I'm HQ, so I want Maria's data. I transmit light 
aka data to Eric at HQ, but I have no way of receiving that data myself. Right, and I have this photo receiver, so I can receive Maria's data, but there's no way for me to send anything back. See how it's physically impossible for light to go both ways? So that makes it more secure? Right, so since Maria can only send data but can't receive it, and I can only receive data but I can't send it, there's no way for someone or something to get in and look at the data when they shouldn't. It's basic physics, and even the most skilled cyber criminals out there can't break the laws of physics. Our system is unhackable. Oh, sounds pretty simple. It is pretty simple. Our products ensure that the data gets to the people and the systems that need it while keeping your network and your digital assets safe and secure. Pretty simple, pretty awesome. Like I said before, these days need hardware to secure your networks, not this flimsy software stuff. Seems like any company can use a data diode. Bingo. Yep. Right on. So um, the objective of Data Diode Day is to educate um, cybersecurity students, um, business students, engineering students, computer science students, basically any student that is interested in a career in technology, computer science, cyber defense, on what a data diode is and how the technology can be applied to businesses in the real world. Um, so we're empowering students to research our website, research OWL, research our products, and all of the content that we have in order to um, prepare your prompt for Data Diode Day on March 14th. Um, we are working on the challenge prompt now. It's almost polished and complete, um, but we will be releasing the prompt on February 18th. Um, so in the meantime, get together with students at your university, um, try to put together a team. We encourage everyone to put together a team that is a mix of um, grade levels. So maybe a freshman, a junior, and a grad student, or um, one of each grade level. Um, it's totally up to you, but we do encourage you guys to, um, to, mi to mix it up. Um, so how to participate. Um, like I said, form a team with students from your college or university, um, come up with a team name, um, and every, every team member must register themselves on our website and indicate which team they're a part of. Um, so we will have the registration form available on datadioday.com on February 1st. So you'll be able to start registering then. So yeah, we encourage you to, um, between now and February 18th, um, form your team at your university, sign up on the website starting February 1. Um, so at datadioday.com, you'll be able to fill out the registration form. And then on February 18th, we'll be releasing the prompt. So if you signed up, you'll automatically get the prompt emailed to you. It will also be on our website. Um, and then between February 18th and March 7th, um, all, all teams should start working on their draft proposal together in order to participate in Data Dio Day. And we do ask that you submit a draft proposal to us on March 7th. So you'll be able to submit this draft proposal on the Data Dio Day website. We'll have a, a forum where you can upload your document. And then on March 14th, um, we ask that your entire team is present at Sacred Heart University in order to participate. And um, we have a full agenda for that day um, where we'll be going through the presentations. You'll hear from um, people from OWL. You'll hear from the Dean of Sacred Heart. Um, and then we'll conclude with a rewards cer awards ceremony. The challenge is open to all undergraduate and graduate students. They, uh, the teams must be at least two people and no more than five. And um, when you do register, we will ask you to upload your resume as a requirement. Um, so there'll be a, uh, a form where you could upload, there'll be a part in the form where you can upload a file. Um, so for the day of the challenge, March 14th, which is a Thursday, um, we do have an agenda um, that may be subject to change, give or take an hour or two, depending on how many teams we have registered. Um, but every team will get 10 minutes to present. Um, so we ask that around 6 p.m. you arrive at SHU, um, you check in, you um, will have some networking with some light food and refreshments. 6.45, we'll have the opening remarks from the Dean of Sacred Heart. And then at 7, um, we'll have a company overview of OWL and our, our team introduction. And then at 7.30, um, 
the team, the teams of students will be allowed to make any last minute edits or changes to their to their proposal. And then we'll kick off the student presentations at 8 p.m. Um, and we, we expect that to last an hour or so. Um, and then we will conclude at 9.15 with an award ceremony. And lastly, I know you're all interested in the prizes. Um, so we will have a monetary donation that will be given to the first, second, and third place teams. And then the first place team will have the opportunity to um, job shadow at OWL Cyber Defense. So um, spend some time with an, a department that interests you, learn about the role, and learn about a career um, at OWL or in cybersecurity in general. And lastly, um, registration will open February 1st for Data Dio Day um, uh, at www.datadioday.com. So uh, definitely start working on your team and share the challenge with your friends. Maria, did you have anything to add? Uh, no, thanks everyone. Uh, I would just make note of the important dates uh, and share, share, share on social media, share with your friends uh, and talk about it on campus as much as you can. This will be a really, really fun event and we'll get to network and meet uh, students from other schools and talk to faculty uh, and then hopefully get some uh, real life experience um, with the challenge and with the prize uh, working with one of the companies that's participating. Yeah, we, we did get a question that came in um, about how the teams will be scored. Um, so to answer your question, we are working on a rubric with the cybersecurity professors at Sacred Heart. So um, the, we'll have a judging panel that will consist of um, some team members from OWL, um, some faculty from SHU, and also um, some outside technology companies. So we will be providing them with a scoring rubric um, so that everyone is judged fairly. Um, so hope that answers your question. But we will be putting this webinar recording up on the Data Dio Day website. So if you needed to refer back to it or if you wanted to share it with someone or share it with a professor or a student, um, you can direct them to the website. And that's it for today. Thank you.